Hello everyone and welcome to this little tutorial video on the drawing editor IPE. And let me start with uh, highlighting uh, the motivation that we have to, to use IPE. So there are great um, editors to, to draw something that are very powerful. Uh, they are much more powerful than IPE, but they also need much more learning and getting into to IPE. And there are editors which are much simpler, let's say paint, but they um, they don't give us the functionality we need. And so IPE is like in between that for researchers, you have everything that you need and nothing more. Okay, so let me start. So that's why we want to use IPE. So uh, let me start now um, to the extra content to, to let's draw something. So here you have a lot of options to draw stuff and maybe the most common is just to draw a polyline. So you press on polyline and you press left uh, a bunch of times. Uh, at some point you're done with your polyline and then you press right and you're done. You can also draw, um, let's say, um, a circle. So you click on circle and then you press first your midpoint and then uh, at some point you right click and that's your circle. You can also draw a circle by giving three points. So you click first here, um, and then you press three points, and that's your circle. Um, there is also um, dots you can make, or marks. You click here, and you make some marks. Uh, you can write labels. Uh, a nice label. So it's compiling LaTeX here, so let me switch this off for a moment. You can also write some formulas. X squared plus Y squared uh, plus 5. Okay. And uh, then you compile, and then you see some LaTeX formulas. So you can use all of LaTeX that you want. Okay, so this is you draw stuff. And so now how can you zoom? Um, so there are different ways of doing it. So you can use your mouse wheel and you go up and down. Uh, I never use this. Um, but what you can do is that you press control and then you can zoom in. So where you every mouse is. So I press control and then I move in here and then I move out again from that spot. So for instance, I drew something here, I want to uh, go more into the details, so I zoom here in, and then I can do some stuff, and then I can zoom out again. Um, and sometimes yeah, you have to zoom in and zoom out to have the right part that you want to focus on. So this is that's about zooming that I found very nice. So then there's uh, snapping. So here, as you already noticed, I have all these grid points. I was snapping through those grid points. It can be often very handy. Um, but you can change, for instance, this grid to a finer grid. You can also say, oh, I don't want to uh, snap to the grid. You switch it off. Then you can snap to other things. So, for instance, you can snap to stuff that you already drew, because maybe you want that. Or you can snap to, to intersections. So maybe you have this intersection here and you want to place a vertex on it, then um, you switch that on. Um, or, for instance, you're like, oh, I have this middle point of a circle, where was it? And you snap onto control points, so you switch this on, and here you found a new middle point and you can put a mark there and you can also connect certain things. So that is extremely handy if you want to draw something more complicated. Then there are properties. Um, so this I find also very important. So here um, <clears throat> we we can pick a color for for that circle, and we can also pick a color for its interior. And then we can say, ah, oh, we want to draw the circle, and we want to also draw the interior. Um, we can also say, okay, we want to have the uh, uh, the outline very fat, or Ultra fat if we want to. 
Um, and we can say, okay, but we want to have it dashed. And we can have more properties. So we can, for instance, right click. And then we say, okay, um, for instance, we want to have transparency. And uh, then we have uh, two copies on top of each other. You see nicely here this transparency um, that some of the stuff yeah, overlaps. Um, and the last thing that you should know when working with IP is that there, if you want to become somewhat fast with it, there are plenty of uh, shortcuts. So for instance, if I want to draw a line, I press P and I draw the line. I want to draw a circle, I press O. Um, I want to adapt the style, so I pick that style and I press Ctrl Q and then now that style, we all of these properties are also somewhere else. Um, there is a list of these uh, shortcuts, but the first way to learn it is maybe if you hover over the things, it tells you I have to press Shift 4 if I want to have access to it. Um, and yes, I think that was it. Thank you for your attention, and I hope it helped you to get your first stuff drawn in IP.